Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a template to a document library within the SharePoint Online. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I post Power Automate, uh, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft SharePoint videos, and soon I'll begin doing all the rest of the Power Platform applications. So let's get into it. So you want to open your SharePoint. Right now I'm in the marketing SharePoint. Uh, be whatever SharePoint you want. And you want to go to a document library. So I'll actually... I'll make a new one for this video. So we'll name this uh, template library. We'll show it in the site navigation. All right. So we got our new document library over here. So if you click on new up here, you can see the option to add a template. So for templates, um, let's say I have a survey that I want my whole marketing team to fill out and I don't want them working on the same document. So I can go ahead and add a template for all of them to open. It'll open on your browser and they can fill out the form, then they could save it in the document library. So I will show you how to do that. Um, there's some use cases for um, templates. So I've actually already made a template for this video, just a simple Microsoft Word document with a few questions. So we'll go ahead and add that as a template. So as you can see now, let me refresh. So if I click on new, it'll give me a new option for template for video. And that's the document that I want my team to fill out uh, the form. Let's go ahead and click on this. And I have it enabled so I will be able to work within the browser. So when this loads, <laughs> all right. So in this template, you can just have whatever questions you want. In mine, I just have a few simple questions. So what is your name? Michael, what's your favorite food? We will do pizza for this one. All right, and then I can go ahead. So let's say I'm a user of the marketing team. I just wanted to submit this so I can save as. I want to save as a copy online so the manager can see it. Um, it's already going to save the location. Um, Michael template build out. Go ahead and press save. All right. So that's all filled out. I filled out the template. So as you can see, it creates the file for us right here. And you can see that I created it. So if we go back and actually open another template, it's not going to have my results in there. It's going to open a brand new form. So I'll go ahead and exit that out and I'll delete the copies and makes every time. You, every time you open the template, it'll make a new copy in the template library. So you want to remove the ones you're not using. And yeah, that's how you create a template in a SharePoint document library. So if you wanted to, let's say I wanted to remove this template, you would go ahead and click on edit new menu. And here you can remove um, your template. So as you can see, we have template for video. Let's say I want to delete it. I can go ahead and do this right here. And as you can see, the template is no longer. Oh, give it a second. Huh. Let's try that again. So let's go ahead, delete. Move it to the recycling bin. Failed, huh? I think there's already one in the recycling bin. So let me just check real quick. Template for video, because I did try this before, so that might be the reason why. It won't let me, because there's already a file with the same name. Let's just check that out. A little troubleshooting for the video. So let's go ahead and click on delete. Fail, huh? All right, I guess it's gone now. Anyways, that was a little, that was a little troubleshooting. Uh, I guess it wanted to re be removed. It was probably just some lag. But that'll be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's how you create a template in SharePoint Online. If you like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.